Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett, and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 68, I believe, of our World Conquest slash Golden Century run as Spain, where last episode we started a war with Russia and another one with Japan, and I'm hoping to grab them by the end of today. Just take a, you know, pretty massive chunk out of Japan here. I'm still not sure if I'm going to use this for reconquest or not. Probably not. Um, considering, I, I think it's like... I don't even remember what re reconquest is worth. Do I remember what reconquest is worth? Not really. I'll check that in like a month. Uh, but anyways, it's it's probably going to be like just as... Just as much as like, you know, um, imperialism. Just less AE, which doesn't matter anymore, so... Probably will just stick to imperialism, but we'll find out. Anyways, um, so I did some numbers off screen. Um, not only numbers in the game, but by the time you're watching this, I've probably already failed my second exam. But anyways, um, so I need to take what was it, like a 160 dev per year or something to finish this world conquest. I use Skanderbeg to figure out the remaining dev on the world. I'm not sure if that dev actually includes uncolonized or not. Uh, the assumption that it does is just like an extra thousand dev off is my best estimate. Maybe even less than that, like 500. Let's, let's keep it a thousand though. You know, it might just be a thousand. I don't know. But in any case, um, it's about 160 dev per year. Um, assuming we're still on track with, you know, Russia and Japan to end within like the next year or two, then that, we're definitely on track still for that. Um... So, yeah, that's just an interesting statistic I wanted to share. Just 160 dev per year makes the world turn, I guess, or makes the world conquest work. Uh, now, I don't actually generate too much. I generate, like, uh, what is that, like, 300 and something dev, or sorry, 300 admin per that time period. Oh my god, I can't even do the math in my head. Each year, I essentially, what I wanted to say is each year I don't make enough to core all that, which means I need to make more subjects. That's, those are the words that wanted to come out of my mouth, but they just didn't. Instead, they tried, they tried, they tried to sound smart, and uh, it didn't work. As with uh, a lot of the words I try to say. <sighs> anyway. Let's have these guys go down here. They're going to group up and aid in the invasion of Japan here. I'm um, going to need you to actually go there right now. Like, right now, right now. Because that, if we're not quick, is going to be an issue. Also, speaking of issues, someone's random separatists, uh, Dai Viet's random U.S. separatists from right here just decided to take a quick trip across the border, so that's cool. That's neat. Um, let's have you guys go down to here as well. Are we even going to make it there in time? No, nah, probably not. Uh, how about we have these guys go down here so we can actually just beat the Japanese army? So that I don't have to worry about it too much. Maybe that's the better idea, actually. No, we didn't even make it there on time. Feels bad, man. But, okay. In that case, you guys can drop off there. These guys are going to group up. And these guys are going to go beat the snot out of some Japanese troops. Over here in Russia, um... Hmm, what to do about this? Well, I need to hold on to them for just a little bit longer. I need the war score to not change too much over these next few months while I'm occupying Japan. But uh, we have occupied almost all of, you know, the stuff that matters in Russia. You know, this part. The rest of this is like 3 dev, I think. Maybe a little more in some places, but not much. Um, hmm, hills. Hills, you say. Would you retreat off of this? Would you be so kind as to leave? We have a 2-3. We're going to take minus 1 into the fire if we move across here. That'll take 25th of June, that's five days left, so they're going to grab it anyway. Why should I bother attacking them? I'll wait to see if they leave. Ooh, what's this? Restrict the grain trade. Increase the likelihood of a center of revolution. You see, that's funny, because I actually don't want to go revolutionary this campaign. I feel like that's going to set me back by too many years. Yeah, no, I'm, no, let, we, we don't need to change things. I don't want to center a center revolution. I would like to crush the revolution whenever it decides to pop up. Now, what is this? How many men are fitting on that? That's a lot of dudes. Are you going under the boat? No, you're all going to Vladivostok. Okay. 
Uh, 5th of July, I'm getting there on the 9th, so most of you are leaving. So I'm gonna catch the rest of you. Cool. Um, what's next? These guys need to land. Uh, sure, that's fine with Punjab, and yeah, I just wanted to test something. What's Reconquest worth again? Uh, 25% aggressive expansion, 75% um, cost, but that's... Yeah, the cost is the same, so that's the, the part that I'm actually looking at. That's the part that I care about. Also, I declared on these guys, yeah. They were just there, doing nothing, so I decided to clean that up. And also, my subject here, someone said, use influence, which is a great idea, except it is for military, apparently. Which is useless, so it would have been a great idea. Uh, this would be great, because they're going to be coring for me, so yes, give them more, give them more admin. Speaking of this area, if I declare war on Transoxiana, then I can spend a ludicrous amount of Diplo um, just taking the rest of Multan without waiting the truce. How long is this truce, by the way? I could just white piece them and shorten the truce. That's possible, yeah. I'll keep an eye out for that possibility. Um, in that case, I would have you move down here. Because of the peace deal I'm planning, I'm actually going to have... All of these guys group up here. So I'm planning a very specific peace deal. You're gonna love it, I swear. It's absolutely 0% cursed. You know, no no, no cursed uh, peace deals here. No, sir. Not a single one. Palpa. Happened to be just about right there. And you guys can produce some more stuff. That's cool. Someone also mentioned that my... Um, furnaces are blocked off by other manufactories, which is probably true. So let's see what we have there. I'm looking for trade goods. I'm looking for that sweet, sweet coal. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, I own this. There's a state house in there, which is not allowing me to build the furnace, so I can remove the state house and build the furnace. Actually, now that I think about it... Yeah, remove this. Of the furnace. Furnaces are, like, ridiculously powerful. Like, they are dummy strong. Um, let's see. You can build the state house. Oh, jeez. This is all cloth? What the hell? <laughs> Why is this all cloth? <laughs> oh, man. It was, uh, it was this state, too, wasn't it? Here. Yeah, uh, yeah, you produce grain, which kind of sucks, so here, you can be a state house. Um, anyways, the rest of my coal... Uh, I just don't have enough space, so we're going to destroy that church and place down a furnace. Over here, we're building a furnace. Furnaces are just disgustingly broken. And if I manage to make enough of them, you'll see why. Actually, I can just explain without, you know, having to wait. Um, basically, goods produce modifier. That's a stacking modifier across your empire. I don't think I need to say much else. So basically, you know how Hadrimon gives us 25% uh, goods produce modifier? Five furnaces would do the same. So, yeah, it's, um, it's good. It's pretty good. Any more? What? Oh, wow. There's almost no coal in India. That is unfortunate. Now that I'm looking at the coal, I'm starting to see why uh, Europe sort of came out on top here with the industrialization thing. Dude, there's, like, no coal anywhere here. There's, like, a little bit right here. I don't even own that. Whatever. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, tax Portuguese Brazil. Do they care? Nope. Have more taxes. Pick up these guys, and we'll send you over as well, actually. But we're gonna do it this way, which is much faster. Eh. Uh... Oh, using these guys. Yeah, okay. Sorry, wrong dudes. Oh, oh yes, please. Diplo Annex cost minus 15% extra? No way. Yo, wait a second. Diplo Annex cost currently is minus 60%. Ooh, that's good. That's good stuff. And I'm never gonna find where that is, but I think that lasts 15 years if I remember correctly. I've gotten the event before recently in a different game, so... I'm pretty sure that's minus... Yeah, it's like minus 15% for 15 years if I remember that correctly. I'm also just gonna barrage Kyoto because they don't care. I'm sure they don't mind. Alright, uh, it's time for more stuff. We need to make sure we get Japan out quickly. 
very quickly. So that everything's still on schedule. So if I can take that, how close are we? A little bit far, let's go after this uh, fort there. Let's actually grab these guys down to here, same with these ones. Put those guys over there. If I can go after Japan, wherever they're trying to run off to, then that would be great. Uh, Ming's doing a bit of... whatever Ming's doing. I don't even know. They're doing something, I'm sure. Uh, let's see... Yeah, if I can catch some Japanese troops, that would be great. If I can't, that would really suck. Speaking of Japan... I beat up their fleet a little, and move back. Uh, this guy is done. So I will take this from you. Which isn't even that much. How much is that? Like, nah, not much. Like 30 or something? 39? No. Not that much. Like 34, 35, I don't know. Uh, we'll just take this though. Thank you. Sounds cool. And that costs me... Okay, that's more than one per dev. That kind of sucks. How much is it per dev? Now well, let's just check my costs out, right? The cost is not going to tell me because I had to click this. So, current cost is minus 38.8%. Uh, including a minus 50 from admin territory. So usually it's 10 per. Okay, so usually it's 130. So it's looking like it's... Hmm... 1.5 per? A little less than that, maybe. No, about that. Okay. 1.5 per development. Hmm, that's not so bad. Except when you have to, like, take a whole bunch at once and then it's terrible and you kind of don't want to do that. Let's actually leave you guys... Where are your ports? Is this your port? This is your port. Are you not being blockaded? Am I, am I losing my mind here? Is this not the port? No, actually, the port... Wait a second, this is the port. Why aren't you being blockaded? Hmm? Oh, it is. Okay, I just had done... Okay, never mind. Just... I said nothing. I said nothing. I just broke it for a day. I just did some big dumb stuff, don't even worry. Alright, I didn't take that, big shame. Gonna take this though? Nice. Oh no, Russia's starting to wipe my little stacks. Uh, how are we on Japan? 99? Minus 99, really? Really? Okay. Um... In that case, I guess it's Carpet Siege time. have this guy move up into here and sweep for troops and I think that'll be enough to get Japan out in like a year at most maybe like a couple months what can I use I could use well honestly I could, I could really use a little bit of uh, admin but okay diplo power it is I'll take some not getting any more that's for sure uh, what am I at now minus 33 okay that'll be solved in like two months what isn't being solved is Russia wiping my tiny little stacks around here. Annoying, to say the least. I'll wipe yours back, idiot. Uh, yeah, that's a merc stack, so this guy belongs to this guy. That's what that is, okay. Can I even wipe that stack? Well, Russia has, like, no morale, right? Last I checked. So the theory says yes. But I don't know if I have to. Depends on how much of Japan we can occupy. Very quickly. Alright. Minus eight. A friend in Gascony. Thanks, man. Really appreciate that. Okay, yeah, there's no one here, so you guys can actually just move back. Minus eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is Japan. This is cool. If this goes back to Korea, beautiful. Um, that really actually just makes my day. If that does go back to Korea. Uh, you guys finished a battle. That's sick. Okay. So this will go to me. I'm just going to take it myself. No one's going to stop me. That's going to be mine. Um, 
Cause screw it, 175% overextension, I've been hit with worse. Um, so, yeah. Just gonna keep their capital there as a little bit of a screw you. And if Korea gets some land back... You have men still? Nope, okay, so if Korea gets land back, then that's cool. Because then I can declare on Korea once I remove tributary status. I don't know why we're still doing this, come on. Here we go. Anyway, thanks for the stuff there. Yeah, Spanish Japan. When it's really over, like, Okinawa. <laughs> yes, very, uh, very Japanese part of this ocean, obviously. Anyway. So, a little bit of overextension here and there. Never killed anyone. Uh, Persia doesn't think so, but Persia can... Can accept my help. Persia can... Yeah, Persia can just shut up. Anyways, I don't need this anymore, so we're going to wait the 14 days. Uh, court and country in Japan. Dude, that just sucks at that point. Rip Japan. You guys can come down to here. You guys are going to stand right about here. This is like Tokyo, right? Close enough. Alright, um, and I apparently didn't turn off my Discord sounds, so if you give me just a second to do that. Okay, my bad. Yeah, I didn't turn those off. I'm just muted in a chat right now, so. Uh, anyway, so those guys are done. Let me peace out with Russia. This is the peace deal, by the way. It's looking very nice. Um, I thought this would be useful so that we can just, like, you know. When, next time we invade Russia, we'll just have this line to just deploy troops from so that it takes less time. Uh, less time to move the, the men across the places and stuff. And Transoxiana, same. It's just faster to invade them this way. So I can really chunk down this area once I've encircled the entire thing much faster. So that's sort of the idea process behind that whole thing. I might be able to take, like, two extra provinces, but it depends on how absolutely worthless they are. Um, I think I can only take one province either way. Well, this one's worth 100, rather than that being worth something, whatever. And in theory, since this all connects to my capital, it's time to make a new client state. And yeah, Europe's going to be a little upset, but who cares. So, we have successfully connected up our empire in possibly one of the worst ways possible. Doesn't, doesn't that just look nice? Isn't that great? Ah, <laughs> uh, man. At least I can core all of it, right? Imagine if I couldn't core all that. Jeez, that would suck. So that's my spy network in here. Um, apparently the guy who was caught is no longer caught. That's cool. And I was going to build a client state. It's going to be capital right next to Moscow just to mess with Russia. Actually, let's just have it in Ryazan because that's an actual fort. So sure, we'll do that and we'll give him a bunch of this stuff over here. Don't know about this. I think I'll keep this. Um, anyways, yeah. 360% overextension doesn't really fit my style here so we're gonna be creating a new client state we're gonna call it the oh man time for my super creative naming schemes once again what do we have here we're gonna we're gonna cancel all that right what's this area called this area is referred to as obviously russia is there anything i can't, I can't just call it russia though it doesn't work like that um, culture groups, maybe? They're all part of the Russian group. Or East Slavic. Uh. But, like, I don't know, East Slavia or something. Because, like, this is the East Slavic group. And there's the West Slavic, which is... Or, sorry, South Slavic. This is the... Is there West Slavic? Yeah, there is. West Slavic. This is South Slavic. So we're just going to call it, like, East Slavia, I suppose. I, I don't know. I'm not very good with names. But... Uh, East Slavia, Monarchy, My Dynasty, Bop. And we're going to do something else with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be too many Diplo relations. Whatever. So, we have... Uh, What did I do over here with... Uh, the dude I made here. Mashrik Persia looks disgusting. Well, at least they're going to look disgusting together. So let's find that background. Where is that? This one, right? 
So we have red and white. Just like that, and the emblem could be this guy. Unless I'm mistaken, isn't that a Cossack? Or I actually have no idea who that dude is. Unless we have the like the um, Muscovy symbol we can just slap down on here. We should, because that's one of those ones that's easier to just copy-paste in the game, so. There should be the Russian, or the Muscovite. Like the dude on his horse, maybe. Um, I am not finding it. I've gone through a lot of these. All else fails, I'll just make it a horse. I'm pretty sure you can find it. Yeah, there it is. I think that's the, the Muscovite one. So anyways, this is going to be the flag of East Slavia. The map color is going to be different because that's disgusting. It's going to be green, but it's going to be like... Make it like a lighter green, maybe. Let's make that... There we go. Bit of a more foresty green than this pale stuff here. So there you go. Congratulations, East Slavia. Welcome to existence. You're going to have a lot of fun here, just like the rest of my client states have. Oh yeah, so much fun. Okay, here you are. You're going to get these provinces. We're just going to start with this stuff here. And once his liberty desire is decreased through this stuff, we get to give him a lot more a lot more provinces. Why am I now getting corruption? What? Game, fix yourself. Uh, I could give this to Sweden. Nah, screw it. Uh, this stuff's also going to go to him, actually. So, East Slavia... Yeah, okay, now we'd be overextended, but that's not a problem. So this is going to go to East Slavia. Uh, until we get to this point, how much is this, actually? 277%, still not optimal. I would like to give him more, even if now it's... We're, well, we're already outside of the, the culture group, so whatever. It actually wouldn't be a bad idea for him to have started off as uh, Orthodox, but... I guess he doesn't really get that luxury, does he? So, he's gonna get this stuff. These, uh, cores over here. Yeah, that's cool. And maybe this one as well. The rest of this is gonna have to be mine, because, yeah. He... I need to core this stuff still. So, I guess that's where we, uh... Start the pain, because I still have a lot of cores here and not enough admin. Though that would take less than a year to fix, I think. Let's go with something that's not orthodox. Um, Ming is going to be done rather soon now, actually, aren't they? Yeah, four years, which is much faster than they were on track for previously without that event. Super glad that event fired. That's kind of cool. Uh, but now we're at peace, and who wants to be at peace? That kind of sucks. Being at peace is a bit of an L these days. So let's get some diplomats, and let's see who I'm killing next. I was thinking this guy, but I think Mamluks are gonna... Yeah, okay. That's what I was thinking. So, Mamluks. Uh, we literally wait two months and then we can kill them. So that's cool. So the plan with that, then... Do you have allies? Uh, yeah, and a truce. Double whammy on that one. Mm. Let's see. Let's break these tributary states. These, have all... these just they suck, dude. Get rid of the tributaries. They've never been useful. I got these by mistake. They weren't really supposed to be a thing. Uh, cancel that one as well. Because I need to conquer them. Alright. Next, we could go with Transoxiana, actually. There's no reason why I shouldn't. Unless he has cores on this stuff. Do you have cores on this? No. No cores on any of this land. The only issue is how he's gonna... Step on all of it. Make it uncorable. That's the real issue I'm thinking of. Oh, there's the timer. Also, trading in coal, extra goods produced. <sighs> no way, dude. Damn. Don't you think that's a little too broken? Isn't that just a tad bit broken? Um, let's see, what's my national unrest? Wow, just 2.81, that actually isn't that bad. Um, provinces reach a max of like 20, and that's what it looks like to me. Let's have you move into here. You you can move like 
here. And you guys are going to move down to here. You're going to be here. You're going to be here. Ooh, Multan's almost dead. Wait a second. Oh yeah, they definitely still want to kill me though. <laughs> so never mind. Um, are you guaranteed? No, you're just allied with the Mamluks. Kind of weird, but okay. Also, Tirhut uh, over here, I want to destroy them so I can just take out Manipur and the rest of Bengal. It's also something I want to do. And these truces are going to be done in... This, actually, this year. How many troops do you have? 100,000. I have 120,000 here. Can I get another... Yeah, I can get this guy over there, actually, here. You go up into there, we're gonna move you into here so that I can reconquest from the Dutch. So that we can take a lot more. There we go. Truce with the Mamluks is over. That's gonna be some swift imperialism. Um, assuming none of you guys have cores, which you don't. Great. Um, yeah, you're gonna deal with unrest. You guys are already here. You need to be grouped up with... This guy. Cores. Um, let's see. That's fine. Who's revolutionaries? Those aren't mine, are they? I don't think so. Oh, Japan is not having a fun time. Um, hmm. Am I missing 2,000 men? They must have just gotten killed, I assume. Minor inconveniences, bop. Just grab a couple of these guys real quick. Okay, uh, mainly we have Mamlukian Separatists. Wasn't that awkward. Um, Gaskin. Revolutionaries, actually. Interesting. Let's have these guys go and clean them up a little. These guys can group up. And... This guy can be moved into here. With the boats. Oh, some dude has to leave. A statesman. Wasn't he a Diplo rep guy? Didn't he kind of matter? I think he did. Um, that's awkward. Let's see if I can get another upgradable Diplo rep dude. Speaking of Diplo, maybe I should accept another culture. That might be useful. What's super useful for me right now, I think... Uh, the three I like to take at the beginning are Napoleonic Warfare Improved Force March, usually. But I've been playing such a, you know, vassal-heavy game, I think Liberty Desire from Development is actually going to matter the most. Because that's really what, like, that's the main factor on every single subject. It's just the development, because everyone's starting to get high dev. Like, well, obviously there's Ming. That's the obvious example of, of having uh, 1,204 dev. They'd actually be the second greatest power if I weren't around, I think. But anyway... Yeah, let's go with anti-revolutionary zeal. I think that's a good starter. That's going to keep these guys from getting rebellious, so I don't have to keep feeding Ming money and stuff. That's going to be pretty useful. What's my Diplo rep at this point? Oh, really bad. We lost five from overextension, so what's Ming looking like? Four years still. Oh, okay, that's kind of weird. I guess it was always like that then. And then once I declare one in France, I'm going to go into Moravia as well. Uh, but now that I've declared on the Mamluks, I can holy war this guy. Um, oh, he's, he's desieging all of my rebel provinces. How nice of him. Anyways, I think we're more or less out of time for today. So while the game really only did progress like a year, I feel like we got a lot done still. In terms of taking like, well, a bunch of dev. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. This is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a quick thank you to all of the patrons you see up on screen here for the month of December. Particularly those starting in the general tier, we have Quiet Guy, Brennan Arsenault, Bren Greenhagen, Torvald, Farron, Brumant, and Natsuki. In the Prince tier, we have Snow Raven, Rockbox 2020, and TFLJ Martis. In the King tier, we have Chewy Shoot and Corbite. And in the Conqueror of Worlds tier, 
we have The Watcher. Thank you guys so much for your pledges, it really does mean a lot to me.